And good afternoon and welcome to Highlanders Basketball. I am Kevin Scott. Joining alongside me is my partner in crime, Jeff Fragenziano. How are you doing, Jeff? How are you doing, Kevin? I'm doing well. Uh, this afternoon, uh, some of the Highlanders are in the Boston Garden um, playing against Belmont High School. And uh, what do you got to say about this game, Jeff? Kevin, this is the good sports uh, Hoop Mountain tournament that Summerall has entered in. This is the second year of this tournament. A lot of big teams, a lot of high action has gone on already so far this today. You got Central Catholic playing later on, St. John's Prep, Andover, Catholic Memorial, but right now Somerville is playing Belmont. In this term, you get to play on the Garden Four, so that's the first thing that you got to get out of here. You got to get out of the aura of standing here under the banners. Even the coaches, they're all dressed up today. They're wearing different suits. You can see them a little more shinier than they the usually are. Clean, huh? you know, we're, we're, <laughs> we're, we're looking good to ourselves. So that's the first thing. But the team has to know that you're coming in right now. Somerville's coming in with a 0-1-6 record, and they're going up against a team that has won five games already. And they're five and three Belmont, the Marauders, and they have a very tough offensive set. And some rules really have to play strong against that because you got to get this out of here first. You know, you got to come in and win today. You got to forget all about right. what's going on. And here. hopefully, playing on the parquet is going to help them uh, find some extra motivation to do something a little bit different. Pick up their defense, be more assertive um, going into the lane, uh, both uh, for both big men and, and Fuche, Craig. Um, so yeah, and it's a shock to begin with. You're gonna run the floor, but the thing about Somerville is you're already playing on a 94 foot court. But it's the sidelines around you. It's the banners. It's Somerville. You don't get much time to warm up. You only get seven minutes on the floor. You don't get the shoot around before because it's a whole series of games going on. But what Somerville has to look at is you're gonna have to look at Eric Kleckner, who Adam Kleckner, who's the top player for Belmont. He averages double figures and points. He's very much like Grassy from Winchester, almost the same exact style of player. Not as good, but still has the ability to score. Has ability to make his free throws against the line. They're a very good free throw shooting team. They went six for eight against Woburn last night on January 9th. So they're coming in a loss. They're five and three right now. Some of coming in 0 and six, but we're going to pan to the crowd right now and see the court and see all the sidelines. Joe Constantine doing your camera work today. Joe always very professional. Before the game, if you look up close at the Jumbotron, there's going to be a nice little video that teams get a chance to put. We have the Belmont video that is airing right now. And some of those videos should be next. Every team gets an opportunity to have this as a great chance to play on the garden floor. And you have a chance to make it your home seat. Some of them are wearing the home today. But going back to Belmont, you got Matthew Kearns, who's number four. He's your, one of your captains. Benjamin Lazenby, and I mentioned before Adam Kleckner. Adam Kleckner has 17 points at Woburn last night on the 9th of January. Today is the 10th. They are at five and three. This is the third team Summer Wolves play from the middle six division. They have already played Arlington, Belmont. I mean, they're playing Belmont now. Intro yet? Yeah. Ability to, to give a 30-second intro video, which all the teams so far have done. Maskinama doing before us, and there you see some of those video. A great chance Joe Constantine edited that, so he's got his exposure today, bringing everything up on the jumbotron. And we'll go to the starting five. Starting on it, Jeff. I don't think they are. All right, well, they're just going right to it. So let me go over who is in here for Belmont. We have 12, Tom Martin, 42, Adam Kleckner, 10, Jameer Paul, 20, Sean Altman, and he hasn't turned his back yet. Oh, number three, number three. Benjamin Lazenby. And Somerville, the mainstays so far this year right now, the coach Antelli's going with is the three guards, Gravito, 
Deshaun, and tip goes to Somerville. Fouché brings it in. Off the glass, get finished. Rebounded by Belmont. See you so far away, Jeff, compared to... Well, we, can't be on, the, we used to be on the floor. You know? And that's what you'll see from Kleckner. He's an outside shooting big man. They usually run a pick and pop for him. If he's on the baseline, he throws some wild right-handed winding hooks. So some of those line up, that ball will recover that for everybody at home watching. Justin Berry, the offensive Big board. rebound by Berry. Count that basket, boy. Strong move by Berry. So going to the starting five for Somerville, you have Deshaun, Salim, Vito, Justin Berry, and Fru Che. Justin Berry going to line for two. Somerville's free throw shooting has improved in the last couple of games. Somerville coming off a overtime loss at Winchester. Somerville's game against Everett has been postponed. We'll go over that recap during the first time out. Another rebound for Belmont, first one to Kleckner. Belmont's taking the time, skip pass on the wing. Ooh, nice looking shot. Jeff, let's count how many uh, NBA threes are jacked up yeah. in this well, game. That's Lazenby, he had two, one three last night against Wilburn. He's averaging good seven points. Fru, Fru can't finish, Barry goes up strong. He can't finish either. Belmont tips it, gets the rebound. Rebound to Waltman. It's gonna be a travel call. Highlander's way. So your referees got him up from Matt Desmond who texted him up to me because we couldn't be down on the floor before. We got Phil Nagel, Nate Bryant, and the last uh, younger guy who was on the right side of the court, his first name's Ryan, didn't get his last name. But we're very familiar with uh, Nagel and Bryant. Bryant's on the baseline and, and Phil's on the left side. Fu brings it in. He can't finish. Fu's getting deep into the lane. He's just got to get, get the ball on the glass and get it in. I think he's rushing a shot. Against Winchester, Winchester only played a zone for one possession on that one. On that possession, Frews stopped for a jump shot, missed. But every other time against Winchester, he just drove right to the basket. Oh, big block by Fru. That's gotta be a foul, nothing call. But Salim still picks up the loose ball. Brings it up the court. Ooh, nice, oh, he had him beat. Frews Deshaun already missed. had him beat, Jeff. He could've went baseline for a wide open layup. Ball's being tipped around. Ball's on the floor. Steal by Kleckner. Substitutions coming in already quickly as Lucas and Craig. First dead ball. 5.55 to go. Belmont's up So that's what this kind of term, a lot of coaches, well, I'll, I'll talk about that during timeout. 21 is in here now, 21, Pablo Reimers. He subbed in quickly. But yeah, that's the thing. Oh, Kevin. it wasn't an expected pass. Craig with the steal. When you play on a court like this, Kevin, you see a lot of players, you say, say they didn't realize where the line was, but you know where the NBA yeah. line is. But the thing is, it's Here's the same. Look, 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 look how deep that was. Yeah. I mean, that's like, that's the second, uh, NBA shot taken today, There's NBA three. Three rebounds for Tom Martin, you gotta get him off the glass. And we saw several in the game before with uh, Masco and uh, Arlington Catholic. Like I said, in the low block, when you, when he's not shooting a jump shot, Kleckner comes in, offensive foul on Lucas. Kleckner shoots a wild, either left-handed or wild right-handed hook. He doesn't keep his form, and say he just throws his hands up really high to try to throw a hook. And that's a way that you, if you read that, you can block that shot easily because it comes yeah. back so wide with it. The high scoring guard for Kearns. Ball's on the floor. Craig picks it up for two. Craig with his first two points. The other day I bumped, I was in uh, the dry cleaners in uh, Mystic on Broadway. Yeah. Bumped into Craig's mother. Deshaun with the steal. Deshaun with the steal for two. <laughs> nice lady. And Craig commits a foul. And a very, very <laughs> slow moving team is Belmont. They're not gonna fast break you. They don't have as many athletes as Somerville does. And what you need to do is you wanna run them to death and try to steal and get some balls if you end up having in this, if you get them in a game for uh, half court. 
they're going to kill you. They'll, they'll bog, they'll low block plays to Kleckner. They run high screen and rolls, they run a pick and pop. They run a lot of action for the two guards with Lazenby and Kearns, or Karens. The Belmont Marauders are five and three out of the middle six division. The Liberty, uh, the middle six league division, Liberty division. Lucas St. Jean went after the um, went after the rebound, didn't box out. Got to box out first. We've been saying it for the past six games, Jeff. Box out first, then go after it. Ball's tipped out of bounds off of Belmont. Desmond's about to get. Desmond is yelling at uh, Mr. Nagel. So I have a two for Kleckner, a three for Lazenby, and a free throw. Okay, that's four and two is six. Where is what am I missing there for seven? There you go. Okay. Do they call Kleckner's shot a three? There was no way that was a three. Did, huh. they, did they really? Sure. What am I missing? I have four for Lazenby and I have two for Kleckner. So Lazenby a three and a free throw. So they must have called, they must have, must have called Kleckner was a three. three. Yeah. This throw was definitely on the line. Ah, uh, careless pass. This is, should have been a foul, nothing called. That's another for Lazenby. Uh, Charles has to make stronger passes. Fru gets the ball at the free throw line, gets it stripped. As slow as, slow as Belmont is, yeah. they're, they're the ones dictating the fast break for, uh, oh, in this game. Because you're turning the ball turn, Right, and it's right. As we pan the crowd, you'll see a whole load of some of the people completely across the bench. Joe Constantine will get that. A perfect opportunity for anybody if you just the place is half empty. Perfect opportunity for anybody to get up on the jumbotron screen. I bumped, just wave your hands and dance. Yeah, like I bumped into the uh, to the Goodridge's on on the way in here, Jeff. Yeah, actually, yeah. Karen Goodridge will be on the bench. She, most of the girls' team is there. There's Coach Paul Halloran up on the screen with Alicia Crucio. They're up on the board. There's Paul Halloran waving. It's Paul O'Halloran. No, Paul Halloran. No, O'Halloran. Coach O'Halloran. Yeah. Coach O'Halloran behind the bench. You got the whole girls' team. They're all wearing their warm ups. So they're here, pumped up. Opportunity for a team to play. There's uh, Comac. Comac's mother. She's up at the high school. I don't know if she still is or not. There you see, that's Craig's sister right in the middle with the big scarf. Why isn't she wearing her warm up? She wants to be different. She wants to be special. Yeah. So anyway, Kevin, a lot of schools don't like to get involved. That's Fru's sister right there with the scarf. Aza Che, former cheerleader for Somerville. And you notice most of these people are wearing their Patriots uh, gear because later on today, That's the Patriots happens. are playing against uh, the Baltimore Ravens. Both Jeff and I will be somewhere around here watching the game. Of course, you guys won't be seeing this live, so. No, yeah, so it's, again, another three for Celine, but that was, but that, was that was an NBA three. It's like, do you think they're getting confused, or it's just like, hey, I just want to prove to some of these guys I can shoot the three. Ooh, Fru slips on the floor. Nice block by Craig Thompson. Vito looking to push it, find Celine. Fru with the ball way too far out. Vito thinks about it, goes baseline, kicks it back to Celine. You Celine. see Belmont coming out in a 2 3 zone. They zoned up. Big rebound by Fru. He's going to be fouled. He's going to go to the line to shoot two. Justin Wagner, first personal. Through going to the line for two. Some will currently 0 for 1. That's what I was talking about before, Kevin. You know, they rush these games, a whole slew of games from 9 o'clock in the morning all the way to 8.30 at night. Mm -hmm. So they only give you about seven minutes to warm up, and some coaches don't even want to get involved in something like this because it's just more of the headache of coming here, going through the whole thing, selling the tickets, raising money for it. Right. But but then when you look at what some rules doing, you have this great fan base behind you. You get your opportunity to play on the court, whereas a chance you wouldn't get it unless you get to the state semifinal. Travel. Travel again. Hey. 
Just goes to show you that referees don't call travels <laughs> on Highland Ave or <laughs> in the Garden. Well, it's the same refs you have. I know. Turnover, but... Celine. All right, Deshaun. Coach Ty Adam Pritchard for uh, for Belmont. He's very vocal, very vocal on the sidelines. You're going to hear his voice. He's going to get very active. Isaiah Clark coming back in next. Uh, next. Nice Deshaun. handle. But it also, it's a good D. Good D by Deshaun. Celine bringing it up. Three rebounds for Fru. Picks up his dribbles over to Fru. Fru looked to dump it down. He slipped. There you go. It's to Celine. They move it around the perimeter. Vito from way downtown. Brick. Fru can't get the rebound. Rebounded by Belmont. Belmont loses it. Four rebounds for Oh, Martin. Craig, yeah, Fru. Thank you. Give it to him. There you go. Be a, oh, make the layup. Tori Martin now with another rebound. That's five for Tom Martin. Stretching exhibition yep. there for Isaiah at half court. Two minutes to go in the quarter. The Highlanders and Belmar tied up at 11. Cut it off, Craig. Craig cuts the baseline off. Good defense. Oh, are you serious? Off the glass. Peter Zerk is off the three? glass. Yep. Unbelievable. Last for three. They take the lead back. Yeah, come on. I've only seen one guy do this. Come Craig on, Craig. There you go. Why do these kids gather themselves and just go up strong? Craig with the offensive board. Four points for Craig. I used to play ball with this guy. And no matter where he was, he shot it off the glass. Even on half moon backwards. It, it used to trip me out. Coach Antonio giving everybody a chance. Chris Pino will check in next to the ball. Vito, look up. Look up. God. Fruit. Fruit finds Celine from way downtown. Bang. If you give them that chance in transition, they can't get their zone set up. And that gives the Highlanders the first lead with one minute to go in the quarter, Jeff. Six points now for Salim, two threes, and that one was a little closer to his regular range. Some of the cheerleaders here are also on the baseline. Oh. Could have been a quick steal for Salim, but he just misplayed it by a second. Another three. Almost an air. Uh, Vito with the rebound. Salim looking to push, 40 seconds to go in the quarter. Salim brings it into the paint. Double pumps off the glass for two. Eight points for Salim in the quarter. And that's exactly what you need from some of those guards to start off this game. Oh, takes Sean with the steal. For two. The Highlanders really started to pick it up in the late in the first quarter. Or, shoot, almost lost that, Jeff. Yeah, how long have been uh, Isaiah's been on the sideline now trying to trying to check I in. know. Just go back to the bench at this point. He missed it. Great, great way to end the quarter, Jeff. I think that was let me see, it was a, tied at eleven. So the Highlanders yeah. went on a, a nine to three run, Jeff, to, to close out the um, the first quarter. The first time out, I don't know if Joe was on the board or not, but you'll probably see right now he's on the bench. And you'll see the, the big 3-7 is here as well. Sal Mendoza, who is the baseball coach for Somerville. He's also the voice of Somerville High School football. And that's the big thing for everybody for, to get up on that big screen, Kevin. <laughs> coach Pritchard for Belmont has been involved in athletics in Belmont since 92. He's coached basketball as a head coach for 12 years. He led Belmont to two North Finals, one Eastern Mass finalist, and one Middlesex League championship. He was named Massachusetts Basketball Coaches Association Coach of the Year in 2007. He graduated from Belmont High School in 1987. He's also the head coach of the volleyball and tennis team. In tennis, he's led them to two Division I state championships. In basketball, these guys play in Division II, and we'll go over that next time out. Back to live action. They keep showing up. When, during timeouts and stuff, they have the whole jump. The NBA three, short. They have the whole uh, trying to get on the Jumbotron. Yeah. And half the kids that get on the Jumbotron are all afraid of it. Huh? They shot for way downtown. Like, Rebound by Kearns. 
Kearns has not scored yet, only and one. And Coach Antonelli just yelling at Deshaun, telling him, why are you shooting an NBA three? Yeah. Uh, everyone's doing it. I, I mean, you can't just yell at him. Yeah. Nobody up. This place is not full enough to open no. up the balcony. So, come on. Shoot, shoot from your regular line. Who are you trying to impress here? No, but you, they, they, you but come it, over and they you, you lose track where you are. But that's that's all right for the right. first quarter. I would, I would, right. I would give you the, the only um, argument is that the both lines are white. They're yeah. the same color. So, so you have to say, like, can't? Isn't there a way to make to bring out like a different color tape? Foul will be on. Looks like twenty-two Wagner. Uh, that's Wagner's second. And Wagner is better. They're probably their best defensive player. Wagner is a 6'3 junior. Kleckner is more of your offensive player, and he's out of there. And you have a foul on, looks like, on Isaiah on the screen. That's a big dude. Right? Who's on there? Can't uh, get a good PA announcer here in the, in the garden. See, so it's not just on Highland Ave either, Jeff. Well, you got Patrick Turafont over there. He probably doesn't have Isaiah in the scorebook. <laughs> Turafont's doing the book. Nice D by Deshaun to step over the. Oh, look at Pino. Pino with a third base slide almost gets a steal. The whole team is now off cheering for yeah. defense. We're going to have to know. Oh, foul. Oh! Until he's a key. Oh, three out there. seconds on the shot clock, and he makes a careless foul, Jeff. I was just going to say that it was excellent defense by the Highlanders until that foul. Uh, Belmont's in the bonus. This is Kearns. Kearns a one and one. Kearns at three threes against. Woburn last night in their loss, they were up the entire game, lost at the buzzer. So that was the deflating loss. Somerville had scheduled Everett for the night before, but moved the game, and now it's been moved again because of the because of the cold weather. Well, I'll, tell, I'll give everybody that schedule update next time out. Pino brings it up to Isaiah. Isaiah can't control it, picks it up, gets double team, kicks out to Salim. Salim resets the offense. Flat for Salim. Salim crosses over. Travel. It's gonna be a travel. He had him beat too, Jeff. Well, the thing, the thing about that, you run. If somebody yells, if, they, if the team yells flat, okay, and you're known to play a two-three zone, why would you just jump back into two-three zone? Right. For Belmont. So why do you follow them into flat? Flat, they're gonna end up, they're gonna end up most likely going one-on-one, -on -one, or a wide-open three in the corner, either side of the baseline. Oh, well, nice. Space is number oh, four. Oh, it's gonna be a foul on Isaiah. Luke Peterson. But Peterson looked like he cracked uh, Salim upside the head. Peterson with a big knee brace. That's on Isaiah. Because so. we're on the road, technically, we don't have the luxury of our own uh, well, yeah, they show slow, slow replay. The yeah. they show, they've shown it up on the board, but I didn't see a replay for that. Yeah. So it looks like Salim's going to come out. I've got a whole slew of players coming yeah. in for the Highlanders. Here comes Chris David and Jeffrey Nasir is back. Number 10, Fru is back in the game, and 15, Donovan Palmer. So everybody getting a chance to play, Kevin, in the first half. Coach Antonelli allowing that to happen, and plus the game's close. But also, Kevin, second half, he's going to get serious because he knows he needs a win desperately here. See, the, the Highlanders, they're starting this. Ooh, did you see that pick, Jeff? Yeah. Woo. Nice pick by uh, D uh, Donovan. Donovan Palmer to travel. No one's there. Took out of bounds. And it, here's the thing. The, the, the Highlanders are, are starting their offense way too far out because of, because of the NBA uh, three-point line. Well, I mean, I mean someone plays on the same size court, so they have I no mean, there still should be no excuse, but, I mean, look at it. They're usually, like, right at the top of the key. Uh, Turnover on through. Bulls cheerleader squad here for Belmont. You got their mascot there on the right side, the Marauder. Was a that's a pirate there, Joe. They're the they're the Marauders. Ooh, Belmont nice move. Here, director, double back. Thank you. 
But you gotta say in this first half, Deshaun is is a catalyst for the defense um, so far. Went around the building before the game, Kevin, showed Joe all around. Lady who was, uh, sold us our food made fun of us because we went around twice looking for the best option. And she asked us how many laps are we gonna do. Foul beyond Peterson. Highland is up by two points with 5.25 to go in the half. Salim, Salim going score. down the lane. Could have got called for an offensive foul, technically, because he pushed off, but sure. he's going to the line to shoot two. Short rims, the first one. Eight points so far for Salim. Somerville is two for four from the line. Still don't think Kleckner's shot was a three, but we'll have to live with that. See, he misses them both. Free throw shooting. Wagner now with his first rebound. You see, look at the Italian, the offensive stance on the side, telling Chris David, get down. Yeah. Get down low. Ball is heading over to Tiffany. She's a cheerleader coach there in the chair. Cheerleaders on the baseline. Good D, good D. They have nothing to be looking for. <laughs> deep three for Kearns. Goes out of bounds. The only player so far for some role that hasn't played. Is it Coco? Sal Coco hasn't played? If I... uh... Oh, and Sharma hasn't played either. If I, if I was Coach Antonelli, I would say the next person that shoots an NBA three is sitting out for the rest of the game. Yeah, you come back. Never come back. Hands down. Foul will be on Salim. That's his first, I believe. I'm going to be announcing we have to get I lost a couple of fouls. First personal over the limit. 2032 over the limit. Brian Goodwin. Misses it. Big rebound by Fru. Salim looking to push. Double dribble. Come on. I'm not even going to yell because these kids can't hear me all the way up here, but. Oh, there's no reason why we couldn't be right there on the uh, sideline. You know? Good one at the line was a sophomore. And you see Kevin, both teams going deep into the benches in the first half. They'll get serious in the second half. I was going to say, I mean, the, the Highlanders were up. The Highlanders were up by six, and they had the luxury to get their, um, well, you're going to get a, sub, uh, a timeout by Coach Antonelli with 431 to go in the half, tied at 20. Um, but Coach Antonelli had the luxury of uh, getting uh, some of his other players in because they were up uh, so big enough uh, uh, late in the beginning of the second half, uh, quarter. Somerville talked about this being comparing it to the days of the 1949 in the times when they were in the New England's last time a Somerville basketball team was in the Garden was March 13, 2001. There you see the girls team and that is the MIA state semifinals. Somerville Highlanders against Brockton played in the state semifinals. Somerville losing that game 59-48. That's back when this building was known as the Fleet Center. Brian Harris was the head coach. One player in attendance that I can see here was on that roster, Megan Foster. She was off the bench and of course that team was the Helen Twins with Joel Martin, Victoria Palmacci, Jennifer Kirkland. Jill DeColagero. So that was the team that Somerville was undefeated going into the tournament. They lost that game going away. Ended up being 59-40. It was close in the second half, but that was the last time a Somerville team played on this floor in an MIA tournament. Back to live action. Salim skips it over to Fru. Fruit, uh, throws it away. Out That's of the last thing Coach How do you come out of time out like that, Jeff? Turner throws a cross-court pass right out of bounds to the Belmont bench. 
Kleckner hasn't come back in since early going. Thirty-two Goodwin a lot of the time. Down the middle That's is Kearns. It. How is that not a travel? Craig with another board. Craig gets hacked. Craig will be going to the line now for the one-on-one -on -one situation. Actually, no, Belmont only has five team fouls. Yesterday, Kevin at Woburn, Belmont had minimum fouls in the second half. They were up by six points, seven points, and they blew the lead to Woburn with under a minute to go, 30 seconds to go, and they only had 14 fouls. So they inbound the ball quickly and foul, foul, foul until they could send the line. So it was a tough situation for Belmont last night. Should be on Kearns. Four minutes to go. Ramsey. Yeah. Four minutes to go in the half. Score still tied at 20. Calling that foul on Ramsey. And what Antelli was saying there, the fru. Catch the ball, pivot, turn. You would have been fouled. You had better balance in making that pass. And say so you try to dribble through this double team. If you had pivot and turn, you had a nice pass, most likely an open layup because somebody was open because you were doubled. Like that. Nice play. Perfectly executed uh, offense right there by six, Summerville High. Six points for Summerville. Give the assist to Chris David. No baseline. There you go. Both teams, look how far they're starting yeah. their offense out. And the NBA, he, he would have played for the rest of the game. Yeah. And he wouldn't play for the rest of the game either. Even, even though he hit it, he still out take him out. Kearns first three of the game, but that's Salim what he just does. just throws the ball away, but it slipped out of bounds off of Belmont. Kearns is a three-point shooter. That's who you got to stay up on. He's averaging double figures and points. He's the key to their offense, and now, Kevin, they're back up. 23-21. A lot of pressure on Chris David right now to bring the ball up. 23-21. 22. 22. Very quick moving game, too, Kevin. Yeah. Come on, guys. Turnover on Catch the ball. Run. Travel. Travel on Goodwin. He's got a lot of minutes. Kevin, yeah, when you look across, it's like everybody piled in together. The place is half empty. I mean, if you and I came to a game like this was half empty, there'd be a seat between us. What do you, what do you sit on top of each other for? You know? See, like Coach O'Halloran and Alicia Crucio, seat between them. You know? Maybe they're close talkers. Well, some people are. Hopefully they have gum. Celine with the ball, swings it around the corner. Fuche to Celine. Celine spins back, gets... Ball oh, ball offensive hurt. foul. Offensive foul. Is Celine he hooking him or pushing off of this uh, forearm? And Kevin, I've argued with the Garden people before in tournaments like this. They don't want to open up all their concessions. I said, kids will buy anything. Just keep it up. And you have the regular standard stands. If you just open up, kids will buy popcorn bags and whatever. You know? You know, especially just, like the MI tournaments. When you go back on the train, these kids are hopping on a train. They need all the food they can get. Just think if they left the uh, the Budweiser um, uh, kiosk open. Yeah. Jeez. Currents for three. These kids wouldn't know what to do with themselves. Going underage drinking. No, uh, no, you're talking about you're talking about kids <laughs> in the sense of you know like Daryl Goodrich over there. Fru going down the lane for two. That's basically a sign of what Fru did against Winchester. Straight down the middle, Winchester decided the single coverage of the entire game, except for one possession. I'm still baffled by that, but Winchester will say, "Listen here, buddy, I came out victorious, so what do you know?" But they gave him too many points. It was in overtime, and it was just a very strange event. Big rebound by Craig, who gets. Give me a foul on number 20. Foul on 22? 22. Ramsey, that's two. That's, a, that's the first time I heard the announcer all day. Yeah. Well, he's been announcing. It's just, you know, not as clear. 131 to go in the half. They probably turned down half the speakers here. Yeah, so I said to him, I said, if you have the full time of, like, especially the boys' side, the boys' side on the Eastern Finals, we have 4-3-2-1 for divisions. 
same amount of people that come in and out of there is going to be equal to a Celtics game these days. And I said, you should be able to, you should be able to sell as much food. And they looked at me like I had three heads. So <laughs> they told me I'm on. Wide open three. Right. Deshaun with the rebound. He's looking to push it now. Oh, you got, oh, don't. Oh, Steal dude. for Kearns. Just slow it down. He had through on the wing. Nice, nice pass. pass. Oh, oh he couldn't handle it. Hey, I gotta give uh, Goodwin more credit. Goodwin didn't play in the games I saw. Got Vito wide open. Deshaun's gonna take his time. Under a minute to go and Kleckner, so basically you have the lead without Kleckner in here. The entire quarter. Strip by Goodwin. Does he have foul? How many fouls does he have? Uh, maybe he has two. I don't know. Nice pass. Good one with the What's good one? Through with the rebound. Through is playing big on that play, Jeff. Five rebounds now for. Oh, hey, good one was hurt. It was at Wilbur last night. I remember a good one in the game. Crew is two for two from the line. Here's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Some of those missed a couple consecutive one-on-ones here. And he did it again. Craig, Craig, Craig with a big rebound. Put back for two. Ties it up at 26. 20, yeah, 22, their best defender. Wagner kind of gave up on that. You knew they were going to call that foul. Who's that on? Deshaun. That's two on Deshaun. So now you got two on Lucas, two on Salim, two on Deshaun. Deshaun just has to beat him to the spot, but we can't say anything about him. He's been playing yep. great defense the entire game. So Kern's going to the line for the one and one. He's two for two. Behind the bench, Matt Young, former assistant coaches here, David Goodrich. Is that David Goodrich? He's a former varsity assistant. Kearns misses the first double bonus. Uh, travel coaches Johansson and Goodrich are behind the bench as well. They're right on the boards. <clears throat> right there at the Dunkin' Donuts board. There's uh, Goodrich's son. Daryl's on the phone, pointing somewhere. Kearns makes the second. They take the lead now with 25 seconds to go. Vito gets it. Finds through. Should be able to get Keep going through. Yeah. Avoids the uh, offensive foul to put it in for two to put the Highlanders up by one point. Six points for Furl. Big defensive stop here for the Highlanders. Let's try to get a mo motivational victory to go up by one point at the half. Seven seconds to go. Vito on them. Good D. Don't, don't, don't foul. Don't foul. He should have shot that. He would have fouled. It's going to be an air ball. Off the side of the back row. And, and that's the half. The Highlanders are up 28-27 during the good sports. TD Garden Invitational Basketball Tournament, or whatever it's called. <laughs> and Jeff, we're back. Oh. Halftime score, Summerville 28, Belmont 27. Let's get the halftime stats, half please. Halftime stats, three for Kleckner, three for Durkin, four for Peterson, eight for Lazenby, and Karanz uh, with nine, all in the second quarter for a total of 27. Somerville, two for Justin Berry, Six for Fru, six for Craig, six for Deshaun, and eight for Salim. Foul trouble, two Deshaun, two Salim, two on Lucas, and two on Isaiah Clark. One for Craig, Fru doesn't have any fouls. The Belmont fouls, I gotta really pay attention to the PA announcer. Next time they're up. And yeah, we don't have the luxury of going over to the table because yeah. we're so far away. I could have, but I, I wouldn't have made it back. And then you know, you still don't even know if that was a three or not. Now who, who was, uh, Kleckner? You don't know if he, his, uh, uh, long range shot was considered a three or not, so. He's coming back in the game right now. No, he didn't play the entire second quarter as well. But at uh, that point, they had him with seven, that's, they had him with eight, and I had Lazenby with three, Kleckner with a two, and then the one free throw, so. Right. so and, uh, Lucas is back out to start the second half. And here we go, back to live action, Jeff. Salim with the ball. Run Salem. Froome going straight down straight down the lane, can't finish. 
That's his like fourth wide open layup he you missed. You don't today, play a John. zone, they're going to do that to you all night. So why don't you just play a zone against some of them? It's Elliot does something he doesn't like. Kevin, it's I a double dribble. Thank yep. you. <laughs> Kevin, before the game, talked about them being all shined up in new suits, but that's, you know, that's their regular outfits there, Desmond Antonelli. They didn't come in and go in. Uh, Ladano's got a full suit on, sitting next to Michelle Kelly at the end of the bench. Deshaun with the ball. Deshaun's been the player of the game for the first half, especially defensively. Yeah. Finds Fru in the middle of the court. Deshaun gets, oh. Oh, Belmont can't play a very Must good have been body down low, Jeff. I just lost my pen cap. We'll find it. See, it's Kleckner's first. So I don't know why Kleckner didn't play. Very vocal, uh, very vocal coach in Mr. Pritchard, Adam Pritchard. Very vocal coach in the team, Kevin. Same thing. Very, they react. Very loud, very reaction team. Basically, a lot of times, Kevin, you'll see that players will uh, take the tone of their coach. And that's what you see from Belmont. Always arguing, complaining. Deshaun with the steal. Deshaun for two. Deshaun now with eight points. And they go up by three. 30 to 27. Down the middle. Down the middle. Oh, big block by Fru. Fru, a player hits a deck number 12. Keep moving it. Tom Martin. You have the advantage. Takes it down to Fru, into the lane, gets hacked. No call, balls a lot of bounds off Fru. Belmont ball. Give Fru the turnover. Not the same starting five. Until you going with Lucas here instead of Vito. But Justin Berry back in the game for some intense defense. Justin Berry is getting bigger and bigger by the day. Yeah. Sal Mendoza is just begging for him to play baseball, but uh, you know. But after, after we do our games, Jeff, who do we see in the, exactly, um, in the yeah. gym working out? Justin Berry. Justin Berry is there, you know, benching the whole rack. It's crazy. But it's dedication, Jeff. Well, it's part of his dedication to football. For football. He, knows he wants to be a Division One player. Lefty. Can't finish through with the rebound. Lefty Altman misses through with the offense for defensive Quick outlet board. to That's five. Quick outlet to uh, Deshaun. Back to Celine. Deshaun, nice pick and, roll. <laughs> pick and roll the Fru for two. Eight points now for Fru. Highland is up by five points. Belmont electing not to play a zone against them at all. Kleckner. Oh. You don't want to send Kleckner to the free throw line. Five for six at for his 17 points last night at Woburn. Kleckner going to line for his first two of the game. Kleckner was co-MVP of the Middlesex League last year. Part of the Middlesex Magic. Doesn't seem like he signed anywhere yet, Kevin, to go to school. Kleckner um, is a senior, 6'5". Oh, it could be a fall on uh, Justin Berry, but no. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Wow. Justin Berry was clearing yeah. up space before he even uh, pushed out what he okay. attempted. Salim's lucky though that he got called because he took another he took another NBA three within the flow of the offense. Darryl that's what, that's what's so bad about doing it. Darryl Gooders, coach of the travel teams, hopped the boards. Now he's sitting right behind the bench. Who does he think he is, anyways? Wow. Ball is out of bounds off Belmont. Still, Darrell was part of the 2005 team that went 17 and seven. Most wins, Kevin, for a team since we've been involved. Losing in the quarterfinals against Cambridge. Behind the bench, you see also Mr. O'Terry, the headmaster, and Nicole Vili, the athletic director. Deshaun for way downtown. Short. Ball is tipped out of bounds off of, they said it's off of Belmont. Still Highlander's ball. Coach L with a quick bounce pass to Mr. Nagel there on the baseline. Okay, we're gonna have to do our wrap up pretty quickly here because the next game will start up. Have to get out of the way for Bishop Hendrickson here. Right, that's a beautiful basketball right there, Jeff. 
<laughs> Sweet pass from Lucas St. Jean. Give him the assist. But no one gets back on Nobody defense. Gets back on Kleckner. Turn around in the paint. Nope. Travel. Nope. Ball with the offensive board. Travel. Travel. Thank you. Good D. I was sure they were going to call a foul on Fouché. Well, Kleckner leaned into him with his shoulder. Not really well off the bounce. Five minutes to go in the quarter. Highlanders up by five points. Lucas finds Salim. Salim dumps it down to Deshaun. Deshaun back to Salim. Highlanders just taking their time. Fru goes baseline, spins back. Fall away jumper, can't finish. Rebound by Wagner, that's two. Oh. Talk about the fadeaway in the paint. Out of bounds off of Belmont. Give, give the turnover to Martin. This team has had some success in the tournament. They play in Division Two. In Division Two, you have teams like Arlington, Beverly, Brighton, Danvers, Lynn Classical, Malden Catholic, Marblehead, Masconomet, Melrose, and New Mission. New Mission is very powerful, but also is Drake it. Through with the baby hook, can't finish. That's going to be a foul. Foul be on 22. Yep. What's, how many is that on him? Is it? If it's on 22. It's on. Oh, 21. It's on Fruche, offensive foul. I thought they were going to call it on no. Wagner. No. No? You said it's on Fruche? It was definitely on Fruche. All right. <laughs> well, I didn't realize that's, you missed that. Oh, I, I thought it was I, definitely on Fruche. Belmont just basically stopped running their offense. They're just going on one-on-one -on -one action here. There you go. That's a big shot. You gotta get Karan's open, who has 12 now, another three. That's two threes. Down by two points. Stay now in a 2-1-2 two, two, two zone. High 2-1-2. Two, two. But, but they missed the opportunity. They had through one-on-one -on -one down down low in the I mean, paint. That puts more pressure on someone. If you, have to, if you zone them up, then the shooter's Hit him right get there. Active. Get. Ah. There you go. Thank you. It's, it's there all day, Jeff. Yeah. If Belmont has the nerve to do a 2 one two uh, zone, out of bounds, up, just take advantage of it. 12 points for Fru. Yeah, if you're playing something, we'll play a 2-3 zone. And you have a guy in the middle, and you can't run the pick and roll. Like, <laughs> like did no one actually go to, to uh, scout Somerville? Yeah, if you want a 2 one two that high, you're giving Fru, you're still allowing them to, you're still allowing them to run their pick and roll, or, sc or screen to the basket. It's crazy. Justin Berry, another foul. Two, Justin Berry's out. Lazenby's coming back in. He had eight in the first half. Craig is back in for Justin Berry. Very competitive Division Two they're playing in. Right now, the team, the favorite for Division Two would be Danvers and New Mission. But these guys are gonna give have something to say to that. Kleckner. Kleckner can hit that. Yep. Gotta find the shooter. I mean, you can say the Highlanders just forgot about him because he literally didn't play the entire second yeah, quarter. Eight points for Kleckner. Now they're down by one. Some of them up by one. 2.48 to go in the third. Fruit. Could have called a travel yep. on that. And Could have. Deshaun for way downtown. Pritchard. Bang! Pritchard was begging for that. Deshaun's best game. Save his best game for the best floor. 11 points for Deshaun. I don't even know how he hit that. He didn't even set his feet. Deshaun also had a big game against Danvers. Offensive foul should be on Kennedy. No, they're going to call it. Oh, they did. Oh, Wagner. That's yeah. three. It's good to see uh, Lucas trying to fight over that pick, drawing the foul. Next game is another Division II team for the North. Is Malden Catholic against Richard Hendrickson. I'll run down the schedule next time out. Ah. You got through. Come on. Salim with a tipsy do. Salim goes two. right through it too. We're gonna get a timeout with 2.09 to go in the third quarter. Highlanders 41, 
Belmont, 35. Looking at the schedule, it's the Good Sports TD Garden. If you go to the Hoop Mountain website, you get the link to Good Sports. You can do a little research on that and see what kind of programs they offer. This is the 2015 Invitational. Started off with 9.30 in the morning. Central Catholic girls play Masconomet. They lost. Arlington Catholic beat Masconomet boys. Now you got this game at 12.30 and then 2 o'clock we got behind us. Bishop Hendrickson already brought their whole TV crew there here. That's Rory Palmer in the bottom screen. Came back from school to see this. Newman North against Newton South. Actually, Bishop Hendrickson plays Malden Catholic at 2. Newman North against Newton South at 3.30. Mansfield against Franklin at 5. Dave Fazio and Andover against Catholic Memorial at 6.30. And at 8 o'clock finish out. St. John's Prep against Central Catholic. Central Catholic have a lot of problems this year, Kevin. They had suspensions early on in the year. They have uh, don't have their superstar, Tyler Nelson, hey. anymore. He's off to school. So Central Catholic is struggling for their life to get into the tournament, basically. But they will make it with 10 wins as the season goes on. So look for a very tough Division I North for some rule now with six losses. So they're gonna have to get their act together. They should still squeak out 10 wins, but it's not gonna be easy. Unbelievable. Back to live action and right, right off the bat, Craig, Craig commits a careless foul. How many fouls Oh, it's on Lucas. Third on Lucas. Last year, this team, Belmont, Marauders, lost to Danvers in the semifinals and Danvers lost to New Mission in the final of the Division II North. So this team has had some battle-tested tournaments the last couple of years. Ooh, nice skip pass. Three, three corner by Jameer Paul, his first points of the game. And now 41-38 lead. Last year, Belmont was 16-6 and six as they got to the semifinals of the two north. This year, they're 5-3. and three. Salim up to Deshaun to Fru. Fru looking down to Selene, doesn't have anything. Is swinging it. Deshaun finds Fru underneath the basket for two. Let's <laughs> 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 to Pritchard. I mean, what, 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 what are you, you doing? Did you, did, you, did you scout this team at all, Pritchard? <laughs> <laughs> if your best defensive big man, Wagner, just completely loses him, but he scores for two. Yeah, we're giving some more credit, Kevin, for producing here on the parquet floor, yeah. but. You know, what are you doing there, Pritchard? Salim, back up top Again, to Deshaun. Look at all the room that Wagner's giving for him. I mean, Wagner is your best defensive big man. Black. Under 10 seconds on the shot clock, Salim crosses over, kicks it out to uh, Lucas, can't finish. Craig. Rebounded by Craig for two. Ball just winds up in Craig's hands. He has eight. Hey, look what I found. Ooh, nice move. Down the middle. Oh, they're going to call a foul on Craig. Lazenby, he's going to go to the line now for two with 35 seconds to go in the third. If that's on Craig, Kevin, that's his second. Yep. At the scores table, you can see Patrick Chirafant right from here. Lazenby with one. Lazenby is now two for three from the line. Oh, in and out. Craig with the rebound. It's another board for Craig. That's six. Quick outlet to uh, Deshaun, who almost throws it away to Salim. Salim crosses over. Double pumps. I know that's not going in. <laughs> Ball's being... <laughs> Clucked there with the board. Desmond is screaming. I guess he's saying get out on the shooter. It's Karans. Time's a wasting. Oh, in the paint is Wagner. Oh. Foul will be on Lucas, so that's four. Wagner going to the line for two. He hasn't gone to the line yet. Justin that's Wagner, he's a junior, he's 6'3. Nice pass, but. Yeah, so Lucas now a four, so you're bringing in, uh, for the end of the quarter, you're bringing in Sharma. Sharma getting his first action on the parquet floor. Hey, is that Bill Russell in the background? 
Could be. I don't think it is, but it sort of resembles Bill Russell. It looks like him. Oh, oh turnover cup. for three at the buzzer. Woo! That would have been huge. At the end of the at the end of three, Highland is up by three points over Belmont. College players, Kevin. Action playing up at Belmont and Green Mountain College is former Highlander. You have Cassius Belfon for the girls' side. Actually, in, in uh, Bunker Hill, you have Billy Bonet and Rubens Gurrier. On the girls' side, St. Michael's College in Deary Bora. UMass Dartmouth, Kelsey Garrity, who's a senior. She should be approaching 1,000 points by the end of the month, early February. Melissa Baptista just came back from Puerto Rico. Their team went one and one. She plays with Tufts University. They're at Middlebury on Sunday, the 11th. Those are your players who are playing in college. Some of them will have from this team who will be playing basketball. Deshaun and Salim should be playing somewhere next year. I haven't heard who's looking at them. And then most likely you'll have football. Isaiah Clark and Justin Berry will be matching Division I to go with other Division I players that are playing for some of them right now. What's the thing? I knew that was I didn't see it. There's uh, Joe Mealy. Joe Mealy. <laughs> oh, oh, it's his Joe Mealy. Yeah, his son. Was that, was that, is that him? Yeah. I, I didn't see who you were talking about. I was like, is that Joe? <laughs> Don't see Matty George in the crowd. He's playing, Suff he's playing Suffolk. Going to the fourth now. Beaver Cronin? I don't think he's here. Big rebound by Deshaun. Player of the game so far, Jeff. Yeah. And, you know, he could have been called for a travel on that rebound. but That's like neither here nor there. So, yeah. Salim with the ball now. Crossing over, crossing back. Double pump, throws it away. Vita with the... I didn't think Vita was there. That would have been rolling all the way down to Belmont. Deshaun bench. with a little raindrop. He can't finish. Offensive board, uh, defensive board to Karans, who has 12 NBA points. Three. And he'll hit those threes. Rebound by Fru. Seven total boards for Fru. Malden Catholic coming up next. A big Somerville connection with Jimmy McCune, the head coach. Ooh, nice hesitation. <laughs> oh, Fru. Please put it. Fru with the oh. offensive board, but board by number 10, Paul. He's got two. He's played a lot of minutes, Paul, tonight. Wagner will take it. That knew he was missing that. Yeah, no board there for whatsoever for Belmont. Four rebounds now for Deshaun. Down in the media room, Kevin, they have a whole table set up for questions. Coach Antonelli will probably be down there after the game. Just a nice table set up with the TD Bank North logo behind you. Vito brings it in. He can't finish. Rebounded by Belmont. Paul gets the board. So okay. The Highlanders are going away from what was working. I mean, granted, they're not, yeah. Belmont's not in a 2 1 2 anymore. However, what's the call? Got a Richard wants a timeout. timeout. Why would you waste so many Why would you waste time? a timeout now? Exactly. But, anyways, um, um, what was I saying? Oh, I mean, Fu, Fu hasn't touched the ball anywhere near the paint in the past three minutes of this. Uh, the past few minutes of this quarter. I don't know. There's all your kids from the Somerville uh, travel teams in your rec department. Chris Santinelli had them out there at halftime, Kevin. They're playing a knockout game. Basically, everybody in their dirty sneakers got allowed to go on to the other. There's Chris right there. Chris Antonelli. He had all those players on the court. I was surprised they let them all go out there, Kevin, because then the guy was sweeping the floor for the garden around them as they were just playing this game. There's the Antelli family right there, right in front, Mark's father. There you go. 
Mark's mother, who you worked when you were at the city, Kevin, you guys worked very closely with the jobs that you had. Yep. Nice to see the good conting contingent here for Somerville following this team and supporting them in this venture, and hopefully they can get out of their winless streak here. Ooh. Counting last year, Kevin, now Somerville has a seven game losing streak. Wagner screens away. Nice move. No fouls, no fouls, no fouls. Grab the board. Ah, lucky duck there. Kleckner in the paint. That's going to be a foul. The last thing you want to do, though, Kevin, is send Kleckner to the line. He's two for two. Give the offensive board to Paul. Coming back into the game for the Highlanders is number five, Craig Thompson. He's going to come in after this first free throw, Jeff. And you haven't seen Isaiah back in now. I'd bring Isaiah in for a little while to try to get Kleckner off the block. Lucas is coming back in with four fouls. Coach Antonelli's trying to win this game. And that's your co-MVP of the Middlesex League. Hitting those two free throws. Very tough oh, matchup. Step Down to the, the middle ball. to the layup. Puts Puts Coran up by one point now. 14 points for Corans. Out of bounds goes to the cheerleaders for. Look at that steal, Kevin. Down the middle. And right there, Lucas couldn't foul him because no, he's got four fouls. Arthur Ingalls here, Kevin, taking pictures for the yearbooks. This is going to be a nice little page the yearbook is going to have. Chris David in the game. Almost gets a turnover. Anto wants a timeout. So, oh yes, two more now? I got them for two more, yeah. Yep. Yeah, they got, actually, they're keeping track of that on the board. Somerville's got two more. Normally during a game, Kevin, you'll have the full score. During the North Pond, there's the Antelli kids right there jumping around. Basically right now, you have every opportunity to get on the board. There you see your cheerleaders for Somerville. A lot of history for Somerville in the Garden Building. And we mentioned those scoring 34, 35, 36 points for Jerry Knight during his senior year. But it was the big time in the 1949 tournament when Somerville won the New Englands. And that was with John Nunziato, Wadi Portorata. Go oh, Packers. And it was. Vin Cronin, who was the head coach, father of Steve Beaver Cronin. It was really Ronnie Perry who was the big time scorer for some role in 1949. Salim gets it, breaks the press, gets hacked, no call. Turnover by Salim, down the middle is Karanz. Thompson with a big rebound. Let's take your time, guys. Go. Foul is on, what did he say? I missed Number that four. one. But what the, what the Highlanders need to realize now, Belmont's trying to pick up this defense. They want to win this game. When you're making a pass, step to the step to the friggin' ball. Excuse me. They don't They don't have the athletes that you have, but they have the intelligence of pressing you. Lucas with the no call. Gets his first two points in the game and puts them up by one. Down the middle is Kleckner. Oh. Kleckner coming off a curl on the side. That's where most of his action comes to play. And they're up now Go by to one, 48-47. Go to the, thank you. Deshaun brings it in, travels, oh, he held his kicks it out. Foot. Dump it down to Thompson, there you go. Spin back. Get. Traveled. Ugh. Who wants the ball? Salim picks it up, it's gonna be a jump, jump ball. ball. Same team. Wagner jumped in at the end, but it was Paul and Deshaun who had the balls on in possession arrow two. Some of them had their hands on the ball. Coming back in now is 50 for some size. That's a big play. That's uh, Shaughnessy, Joe Shaughnessy. About the same height as Fru. 
Close to a five second call. Salim just easily gets the ball. Free with the pick. Salim crosses over, goes baseline. Double pump for two. Nice play by Salim. 12 points now for Salim as they go back up by one now. So back and forth, the lead will ramble. We just got to cover Karanz. No! Oh! Come on! Collector fell to the ground, made no contact whatsoever. whatsoever. Should have been called for a travel. Collector now goes to the line for two. Because Summer rolls over the line, so he's going for the one and one because you're definitely not calling that a shooting foul. Fru must terrible. have said something to Mr. Nagel because he's really talking about Fru's cracking up now. Ah, uh, ball don't lie. Salim brings it up. Nine nice rebounds. pass to Craig for two. There Passing you go. counts on a foul. Shaughnessy. Craig for two. Goes to the line. Craig Watch this play, Jeff. Zero for one from the line so far. Well, that's all you have to do then. Yep. You get back out on the break off a turnover or off a missed free throw. Belmont decided not to get back on defense, and some of those athletes are too quick to get back. And what do they do? Fast break, and you foul late. Big free throw by Craig. Puts the Highlanders up by four with four minutes to go in the game. Very quick moving quarter, Kevin. But Karanz get the ball out of his hands. Offensive foul, push off. Kleckner wants it for three. Wow. That's why I told you, Kleckner is very similar to Grassy, Kevin. Not as athletic as Grassy. And nice pass to Fru for two. Hunter's still up by three. As you say, Kevin, it feels like a tournament atmosphere. I mean, even yeah. though you win this game, you get nothing but your first win. Down the middle, turnover. Keep going, Fru. For three on Lazenby. Fill the lane. Foul will be on number Grab four. Grab please. Come on. Karanz. And Kleckner getting in Deshaun's face. So I told you, Kevin, this team, Melbourne's very vocal. They're always arguing, always saying something. Their coach is constantly over the coach, out of the coach's box. But see, Salim is upset because it wasn't a basketball play. But they, oh, it wasn't that bad of a foul. Oh, but he didn't go after the ball. He just grabbed well, the dude's hand well, while he's he was in the air. He's going to stop the break at some point. But Salim and uh, number four just said, just give each other a dab. They're cool. When, when Maskinama beat Central Catholic, Kevin, they celebrated at center court like they just won the state title. Salim is talking to the Belmont crowd. He just needs to focus on his exactly. free throws. Focus on shooting. They he shoots an air ball, but he gets his own rebound. Pull it out! They oh, saw him hit the on. ball and gets it back somehow. Pull it out! Grab it! It's going to be a jump ball going no, Belmont's way. They call the foul? Yeah. And Salim... Technical foul on Craig, so that's a foul. <laughs> and Karan's do it, Kevin. He went right to the line. Karan's going right to the line for two. And that's who you don't want to send to the line, but he misses it. That's a foul, so it'll be a personal foul on Craig, but there was a foul previous to that. What was the foul right. previous to that? It was a foul, foul on the floor. Yeah. But Craig gets the pop, gets the personal foul as the technical. Right, so now they're trying to figure this out. Yeah. So what's the situation here? Are they in the bonus? Craig is still in the game unless Coach Antelli takes him out. Coach Antelli is all over Craig right now on the sideline. Pritchard now coming way on the court. Get off the court, Pritchard. In all the years, Kevin, we do this, I've never seen a more vocal coach argumentative than Pritchard. Now Desmond's arguing about something. No, there was a foul on the floor. Exactly. The foul was on the floor on the ground, top of the key. And then the te technical foul from Craig. Yeah. So Deshaun gets to shoot because oh. you'll inbound after the, te the technical was afterwards. So basically, so the, wait, so basically the technical should have been shot second. They went out of order here. Right. 
so should have been the Sean shooting. Wait, who do they the call technical. The, who do they call the technical on? Technical's on Craig. Technical's on Craig. The foul, you should have shot Deshaun, yep. then you shot the technical, then some of the inbounds. They shot that out of order. Pritchard should be upset. <laughs> unless, no, unless they called the technical. Did they not call the technical on Craig? Oh, unless it was a jump ball? No, possession out It would have been change. a double technical. No. I don't know. It's just from where we're, we're uh, 70 feet in the air away from the away from the court. It's hard to uh, it's hard to know what that final situation was. But Kleckner in the paint. Kleckner in the paint. Now they're down by two with 2:55 to go. The trap is on. I thought they tied up the ball. And right. Deshaun was on the floor, and that's where the foul the, the was. The scuffle started, right. But then how did, how did Belmont get the ball? Unless they call a jump ball, but the possession arrow didn't change. Deshaun with the step back. Through from way downtown. Rebound. Oh, it's off his knee. Yeah. Oh, no, no they're they're foul on Salim. Foul will be on Salim Lazenby with the rebound. Foul will be on Salim. That's his third. So Lazenby now goes to the line for the one-in-one -one situation. He is now it's a two bad, for four. Bad time for uh, Fruche to be shooting his first three during the game. Look, he could have taken a dribble in, step in. One-in-one -one situation for Lazenby. Live on tape, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Lazenby misses, so this has really faulted them in the second half, Kevin. They've missed one, two, three, four, five free throws in the second half. A couple bonus, they get lucky. Very physical game right now, Kevin. Tempers are flaring, Why would you down by one. See, and now Pritchard's arguing. What's he arguing about now? Look at him on the court. I don't know. I don't know what he's arguing about. Fouls on 50, Shaughnessy. Let's go, bend your knees, Salim. One in one situation for Salim. And he's right, in an arena like this, Kevin, I've never heard in a, a pro arena, which we've been in a lot of them, Kevin, have you ever heard a more unclear PA announcer? They must be going with a separate system today. There you go. Yeah, it's got to be. I feel like the old days of a, of a non-televised card when you used to go for wrestling, and they would just use a you know, megaphone to announce the players, the wrestlers coming in. Salim knocks them both down. Well, they're, they're, yeah, he worked on their free throws, Kevin. Salim three for four in this quarter alone. Free throw shooting was awful for some role to start the year. Blues. They should almost got the steal. Still plenty of time though. You only have a three-point yeah. lead. Pick and pop. Travel. Watch Nothing. out for the pick and pop to Kurt, to Kleckner. Trying to see what the offensive board foul on Fru. Why'd you even go near him? There was no chance. That was even going to go in. Fru now has three. Shaughnessy going to line for his first two of the game. Craig's about to come back into the game, Jeff. Craig's very lucky, Kevin, because there have been times when a player gets a technical foul, especially in the Coach Malolo days, you get a technical foul, you're not coming back in. It's coming in for Barry. Into the game for the Highlanders, Deshaun, uh, Lucas, Fuche, Craig, and Salim. Foot's all over the free throw line. Shaughnessy, yeah, he was way over the line. They call a violation on that? No. No, Subs coming back in. Wagner coming back in. He has three fouls. Shaughnessy hits the two free throws. They're pumped. All right, Bel Belmont's pressing. They got to go to the. Oh! Travel on Craig. Turnover. That's just a tough situation for you to have Craig in, Kevin. He's the first pass. Pivot, turn, pass. And he just freaked out right there with the double on him. Justin Berry comes right in for him. Justin Offense. Berry's gonna muscle, he's gonna muscle Wagner. And Coach Angelelli just told Craig the same thing you just yeah. said, Jeff. But that's why he's in that for the first pass, but Kleckner in the paint. Looks to Wagner, how's that on three seconds? Wagner now with five, and they go up by one. 59-58. Intense action right now, out of bounds. Turnover on Lucas. There again, you put 
crew in a tough position. Right. Where, where you had so much space, you could have dribbled and made a pass. But there. none of the guards are stepping into the pass. No. They're all just waiting for the pass to get there. And they just overthrow that. And that was thrown, that was thrown in the first row. Fundamental basketball. But well, you have veteran guards on Belmont. Double dribble? How is that? How does he call it? How is Nagel calling that? Yeah. He caught. That was, I that missed was that. awful. Turnover on number 12, Martin. Look at Antelli cracking up with Nagel. Knows he got away with one there. Highlanders are down by one point. Salim with the ball at the Nate top Bryant of the key. Nate Bryant was right there next to him. How was that? Not Nate Bryant's call. Salim with the in and out. They double team him. Finds Deshaun. Basically, they know they got away with a three second call when uh, Wagner was in the lane the whole time. And they didn't call it. Oh, Salim oh, gets back. And he counts. Salim's got to stop talking. What's wrong with these guys? Look at him. Look at him yelling at Wagner. I don't know if he's if he is he talking to Wagner. Or if he, is he talking to the crowd? No, he was right. He was right up on him. We'll see what happens. But again, that's what Belmont does to you because they're always talking. Their coach is so active. Yeah. The coach is so vocal. Both some of us the same way. They're always up in you, so that you get that. That's the kind of action you get. Basically, Kevin, this is Salim's game. It is. You better hope. <laughs> I mean, 20 so. points for Salim. I would say that's a career high. From way downtown. For three. Great. Big rebound by Lucas. Finds Deshaun. Hold it up. Relax. Give me a timeout by Coach Antonelli. Does he want a timeout? Uh, maybe not. It's a good timeout. Yeah, now he only has one timeout left. Still a good timeout. All right, recap it here, Kevin. Incredible scoring for these teams. Kleckner with. Fourteen points for Kleckner. Salim, I just said, has twenty. Fru, sixteen points for Fru. Craig with tw with eleven. And Deshaun, twelve points. So balanced scoring attack for Somerville. But Kevin, if you look back. You don't need, with well, a minute to go, tempers flaring. There's uh, your old freshman coach. <laughs> you don't need. Just run a play. Yeah. Within the flow of the office, don't force anything. Is that Leslie Duarte over there, former Highlander, on, the, on your board? As you see your bench, Kevin, going over, the only one in real foul trouble with four is Lucas. Tempers flaring, always look for a possible technical foul with Pritchard yep. with Belmont because he's constantly out of the coach's box, yelling at officials. He's still yelling he's at still the officials right now, him. coming out of the timeout. He's got a little smile on his face. There you go. There's your Somerville chant. Step to the ball. Who traveled? Exactly. Exactly. Travel. That's, that's a good call. That's what AAU that's basketball does to you because you don't call that stuff during AAU games, and that's what happens. You can pick up so many bad habits. That was just an awful bad habit from Fru. Coach Antonelli doing offense, defense again. Uh, Justin Barry back into the game for Craig no, From Thompson. here, you could see that was a trap. Yeah, easily. Easily. Turnover for Fru, and now you're I getting he got them away with it. I don't know. You usually do. But it, it, Kleckner's in the paint against Justin Barry. Good D by Barry. Great D by Barry. Kleckner. Who wants the ball? How's Belmont he getting board? Under a minute to go. Highlanders up by two. In the paint is Wagner. Timeout. We got a timeout. Tied score with 51.4 seconds to go. Seven in the game. points for Wagner now. We got a tie score at 61. So this is two games in a row for Belmont. They played at Woburn last night on the ninth. They, that game went down to the wire. Somerville went to overtime down to the wire to Winchester. You know, all this talk about combining the uh, going with. Uh, the Northeast League, why don't you just bring the four GBL teams into the Middlesex League? You're part of the Middlesex uh, for the courthouse, yeah. right? You already took Arlington away from the GBL. High intense actions with someone wanted. This is what Coach Antonio wanted to be in this type of atmosphere. The Good Sports Invitational, the second annual. 
Last year, mauled and golden tornadoes were in here. So one timeout left for Somerville, two timeouts left for Belmont. Somerville will, will get the ball. They can run the baseline. I don't understand, like, are people just, are they like, um, am I not supposed to be here? Am I afraid to be on the jumbo truck? Lucas should tuck in his shirt. Comes out of a timeout with his shirt on tuck. Offensive foul on Saloon? No. No, they called it on number 20. What do they call on 20? They just called a foul on yeah. 20. He, was, he, he wasn't allowing him to get to his spot. It's a good call. So Saleem now goes to the line for the double bonus. We've run out of it's room only, for Saleem. It's only good if he makes the free throws. Actually, no, I got him for oh, 10, 18 points for Saleem. So I was off by two. See if he makes this and gives me 20. So that's 19 points for Salim. As Somerville goes up by one. That's the key, Kevin. What you looked into this year, what you're hoping to accomplish. 20 go. points off of Salim. Okay, you're going down to the wire against Belmont. This is not. This is still not what Coach Antelli wants to be. No, he should have blown his team out by 20 points for the level that you were supposed to be at this year. Down the middle. Nice move. Down the middle is Ties it up again. Getting back at Somerville for that foul. Now he ties it up. Tied it up. But Kevin, you give credit to both teams bringing their best out on the court with everybody watching here. The focal point is you on the parquet floor. Both teams coming out with their best lineups and their best performances. Celine crosses over. Skip pass to Deshaun. Deshaun finds Fru, who's at NBA range. Taking the time, you got to Until he calls his out. final timeout with 15 seconds to go. Wow, I don't know, but, but it's a big possession and it's six seconds on the shot yeah. clock, Jeff. And that was a huge play for Somerville because you lost Altman, the lefty, came down the middle of the paint. Came down the middle of the paint for that wide open layup. That's not what Coach Antelli wanted coming out of that possession. With a tie game now, 15 seconds to go, six seconds on the shot clock. Remember that, that's a key part of this. You're looking at the game clock with 15 seconds, but you still have only six seconds on the shot clock. So let's see what kind of play Coach Antelli comes out with here. Behind the bench is now Newton North is coming in behind Somerville's bench, head coach Paul Conley. That was a Bill Russell look-alike. Yeah, he could win the award. So recapping for some the only player in deep foul trouble is Lucas. The key right now, Kevin, don't let your tempers get the best of you. Salim has been very excited as Bruce Desmond yep. in the middle of your shot. Salim very excited on those possessions, but at the same time, Kevin, this is not a time where you need your tempers to flare because Belmont comes out very vocal and very active. Six oh, seconds on the up. shot clock. Run a quick, quick hitter for Somerville. Right there, through. Bring it in. Gonna be a jump ball. Oh, he called a foul. Oh, my word. Foul will be on Wagner. Justin Berry coming in, sending through the line. Wow. That's, That's five two. on Wagner if it's on him. But they're in a double bonus, so he's still getting two shots either way. That's on Wagner, that's five. And you're gonna get a timeout by Belmont. Is that, is that their last one? Uh, no, they got one left. On that possession, if they show it, that should be, uh, that should have been on Wagner. That's five according to what I have. See if Belmont can get away with one here. Yeah, this is definitely, uh, what are they using? Just some regular old, uh, you know, a regular box there at the at the at the table with a microphone sticking up to the speaker. Look at listen how low that is. There you see a Somerville girls team pumped up. They got to get out of the winless streak here, Kevin, because they are now oh and eight themselves. The Lady Highlanders. Yeah, they haven't won a game either. That's not. But good. the difference is they've lost a lot of players who are scholarship athletes and playing Division Three, High Division Three with Kelsey Garrity. Melissa Baptista and Indira Evora are playing at the college level. They've lost that. They're rebuilding. 
Somerville is in a position where they should be heading back to the quarterfinals, to the semifinal, and possibly a garden appearance, okay? Right. Not a garden, but it's definitely, you know, I predicted them heading to the North final in Songus Arena. So they have to get back where they need to be. And this is where it begins right now with Fru hitting these free throws. Because we got a tie game going on. 13 big, big free throws for, for Fru right now. Yeah, and watch out for number three, Lazenby, who is basically now, Deshaun saw him, he was hiding out at half court. So if the free throw is missed on the second one, look for him to go deep. But now Lucas is recovered. Lucas is at half court and sees Lazenby. Lazenby's now gone back to the NBA line. Used to be 23-9. Fru knocks down the first. Woo! Take the lead by one. Silence here in the crowd, Kevin. He knocks them both down. Here we go. Let's get no it. timeout Great taken for Belmont. Great right here, Jeff. Here we go. Ten seconds to go. Good D by Celine. Screen for Kleckner. Nice. Oh, for three. NBA three. Oh, that wasn't an NBA three. That was a regular three. Timeout for a time Belmont. Out. Yep. Yeah. Wow. They take their final timeout. So big. Lazenby with the offensive board. Somerville was just kind of watching the board. Yeah. The shot on that. The three was Karan's attempted the three. Karan's has 15 points. Missed that three off the back of the rim. Kevin, very dangerous right there. You got 1.9 seconds to go, so it's going to be a catch and shoot yep. for Belmont. Cover the shooters or in the paint. Not enough time for a turnaround for Kleckner. But look for a fadeaway three by Karan's coming out at the buzzer. And no careless. There you see Carl, Carl's Alphonse in the middle, one of your dominant football players who was on the basketball team last year. There's the Desmond, uh, Desmond's mother and his sister. It's actually, Kevin, we're talking about what's on the screen. We don't even know if Joe is focused on that or not. You know what's so... <laughs> We've given them people credit. Um, what was I going to ask you? Oh, do they have something about like people taking pictures with Jumbotrons? If you're... Yeah, no, you can't. They, you can go order it. It's like you go downstairs. No, but they, 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 they oh, can't. No, it's it's they can't. that people are Instagramming or Twitter. Yeah. Send a tweet no, but to they the keep, garden. They keep they making it out of focus, yeah. so they'll turn well, the camera. Well, they do it on purpose. So if yeah. you're trying to take a picture of yourself, they put it out of focus. But Kevin, we got important things going on here. We got 1.9 to go, and we have a possible three to win the game for Karans. We'll see if there he can we open. Salim's got a major, major assignment right now to see if Karans comes off the switch double screen. Switch on everything. I, I, I just switch on everything. Wait, wow. Wait. We'll be on Deshaun. Oh, Nate Bryant calls a foul on Deshaun. What was that? Pushing, sending them to the line. Unbelievable. Number 20, Altman will go to the line for two. And now the pressure's on Altman to tie it up. And as you say, Kevin, justice will be served Unbelievable. if Altman misses these free throws. Ball don't lie. There we go. So he's going to miss it deliberately now. Yeah, you got to no miss timeouts. it. You got to miss it Get, Is Craig in there? Why isn't Craig in there? I would bring Craig. Salim turning the crowd to get them up. Altman's got to miss this because he got a rebound for Kleckner. And they, and they call a lane violation. Thank you. Oh. Yo. Yeah, this game's over, Kevin. No, not, not if they freaking if they <laughs> yeah, inbound yeah, the ball if, underneath if the you basket. Turn the ball over. Just throw the ball in the backcourt, please. Throw it to Justin Berry at half court. It's a it's lot. Be, yeah, a lot. Even, even Belmont, see, they're constantly arguing, Kevin. Yeah. The I players mean, looked at the clock and yelling at the ref saying, put more time on the clock. We'll fix it. You know, don't, don't worry about worry yeah. about you know getting the foul instead of worry about how much time's on the clock initially. Salim looking to make it 22. Definitely the player of the game. Too bad we can't have him interview. He'll be down getting yeah. interviewed by the good by the media. Intonelli's talking to Bryant now on the sideline. Oh. Now, if you're Deshaun, you have to make this because of the possibility of a full-court shot because you have .8. If it's .3 or under, only that's only a tap. 
So you have a shot at a full court shot would, now for Kleckner. I would just miss it. I mean, no, no, no. You make it. You make it you automatically. Try to make it because regardless, of it, they're not going to be Joe, able to you can pan the crowd as I start to add this up. He misses them both, but through with the re rebound. Can he get the first win of the season, Jeff? They're acting like they just... Yeah. Great game, though. Oh, you didn't, you didn't win the state title here, guys. You just won your first game. Good job, guys. And you can hear the Somerville chant that they used to do that back in the day um, in the garden. Well, this is cool. I never knew they sh shook hands with the referees at the, at the end of the game. Okay, yeah, that's the hand. You got to give them like the thumb, the thumb uh, fist pump. Great game all around. First half definitely went to Deshaun uh, defensively. Played very well in the third quarter. Um, and then you had Salim, uh, who picked up the picked it up in the uh, third quarter and, the, and he got got hacked. Like I guess it turned it on for him. And that's what sparked it for the Highlanders. You know, but that gives the Highlanders their first win of the season. Um, they will be playing against Medford High on January 13th, this Tuesday coming. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah, let me go over the scores, Kevin. Yeah, go I have eight minutes, we got to get out of here to let Bishop Hendrickson go here. For Belmont, two for Allman. Allman made that big play down the middle, which tied it up to begin with. That's where someone needs to work on. Shaughnessy with two, three for Paul, three for Durkin, four for Peterson. Uh, we played in the first half early. Balance scoring after that. Lazenby with 10. Karans with 15. And Kleckner with 17 for a total of 63. They now fall to 5 and 4. For Somerville, 2 for Lucas. 2 for Justin Berry. Now here comes the balance scoring for them. 11 for Craig with 8 rebounds. 12 for Deshaun. Deshaun had a huge first half. 18 for Fru. And lean the way through at eight rebounds, or no, 12 rebounds. And lean the way is Salim with 20, 65. They are now one and six. Kevin, you won on the garden floor, but still, this was too close of a game. Yeah. We're part of the coaching staff to be proud of. Someone has to go to Medford, start up their schedule, get another big tournament coming up on Martin Luther King Day. That should be a much easier game than this. You're going up against St. Clements. The, uh, the Reggie, Lewis yeah, Reggie Lewis Center for the BABC tournament. So another showcase for Salim and Fru to show everybody their skills. And that's where we stand, Kevin. We're in the garden. Hopefully we're back here in March with this team. And it's a great game by the Highlanders. Uh, the 65-63 win over Belmont. Uh, for Jeff Argenziano, I am Kevin Scott. Have a good night. Go Patriots.